Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be looking at the M&S Speciality Pizza Flour. Quick look at the stats, it's got 12.9 grams of protein. Compare that to the Pizzeria by Caputo which has got 12.5. So it made an absolute fantastic pizza and here you can see the pizza that we made. So let's get down to it. So here we go with the M&S Speciality Pizza Flour. And what we need to do next is we need 600 grams of water. And it goes. And then we've got one gram of yeast. And uh, we're going to give that a mix. So one of the questions I've always asked is why do you put instant yeast in the water first? Well, I like to make sure it's working. And that's what it should look like, nice and frothy. So now I need to gradually add in that flour. So add in a little bit in first and then mix with a fork. So the first stage, it should start to look like a batter. There we go. And you'll notice it's already starting to froth as well at the top, so the yeast is definitely working. So continue to add that flour in. And now we'll go from a batter mix, and it'll go a bit more thicker. And you'll start to notice it becomes more difficult to work with the fork. So... Using the fork just helps knock the lumps out as much as we can and it does make when it comes down to mixing it by hand and kneading a lot more easier. So time to tip out the remaining flour onto the work surface. So that's it all out. Just saved a little bit in the bag just to help scrape out the bowl. So tip the mixture on top of the flour and then just put a bit of the last remaining flour into the bowl, run your hands around and that will clean out the bowl. So now we need to fold in all that excess flour that we've got. So again, that's just the remembrance of the bag. There is no additional flour added. So we're definitely going to get a 60% hydration pizza dough. So one of the things I noticed at this stage is it was really good to work with this pizza flour. Um, comparable to Caputo, it was really good. So you need to knead for about 10 minutes. It'll take you about 10 minutes to get all that excess flour in and um, get it to a nice smooth state. So if it starts to become sticky, again, just hit the dough ball onto the work surface. It does help an awful lot. So just kneading away there. And whilst I'll continue to do that, just a big thanks for everybody who has subscribed to the channel, all 740 of you, absolutely well appreciated. Thank you very much. So forming this now into a smooth dough ball. There you go. I'm going to cover it for one hour. So after one hour, we need to uncover that. Looks pretty good. And we just need to take it off the work surface using that dough scraper. And now it's time to add in the salt which we've got 25 grams of salt so we're just going to smooth that out and in with the salt 25 grams of it and we're going to fold that in just make sure that the salt is evenly distributed within the dough if you've got a mixer obviously you can just add this in with the mix but as you know my personal preference is to make it all by hand and just as a reminder, the salt with the yeast acts as a bit of a controlling agent. So make sure that the dough doesn't get too lively and bubbly. It just calms that yeast down and keeps it under control. So that's what we have the salt for. So now I'm just going to give that a knead. It should only take about five minutes. Just kneading away. So at the time of filming this, it was £1.40 a bag. So pretty good value actually comparison with your caputos and i'll pop a link in the description so now just forming that into a nice tight ball ready for its overnight proof room temperature about 19 degrees pop that in there cover with the shower cap and then we're going to leave it for about 20 hours So after 20 hours, there you go, it's risen, doubled in size. So let's take that shower cap and have a look inside. Oh, and that's looking pretty good from this angle. 
looks even better from this angle. Wow, look at that. Looks brilliant. Okay, let's open it up. Wow, look at all that structure and gluten. What do you think? Leave a comment, please. Let me know what you think. So look at all that gluten. Fantastic. So it's doing really, really well. It's passing the window test. Strong flower, this. Really, really stretchy. And so far, for value, can't grumble. It looks fantastic. So it's pizza time now. And we're going to make the 230 gram balls. We're going to get seven of those. Weigh them out. That looks fantastic. Spot on as always. And now we'll just give that a quick rub in that smaller flower. And we'll start to shape the pizza ball. There we go. Looks fantastic. And yep, we'll pop that in one of them Poundland tubs. Just a bit of some olive flour just to get any excess moisture that might be knocking around in the bottom of the bowl. And then put the lid on. And there we go. So we're going to leave these now for about five hours to rest. So after five hours, they're looking fantastic. They've now increased in size. So just a shot of the toppings. We're going to be using the mutty tomato sauce today. Let's get down to pizza time. So put in a nice dollop of the Caputo Samola uh, flour. That really does help with the stretching. And we'll open the first tub up. Just a bit of an air bubble. Just give that a quick pop. Put a little bit of smaller flour on top of the... Uh, dough and it comes out nice and easily look at that fantastic so just a few more air bubbles if you see them as you're stretching your pizza out just give them a pop it will stop the pizza from really burning uh, on when it goes in the oven so just pushing that out with our fingertips now looking fantastic and you can see it's beautiful and soft no spring back the, uh, as we're using that steering wheel method now, that pizza base is just falling and forming away. So wipe away the excess flour, place that back on the work surface, and there you go. That looks absolutely beautiful, that nice looking 10 inch pizza. So next we'll put on the mutty pizza sauce. This stuff is the business. I absolutely love this. This is now my favourite. Um, we'll put a bit of Parmigiano on. Just mix that around. Fantastic. So this is Nat's pizza, so she likes them a bit spicy, so she likes some jalapenos on. A few little sun-dried tomatoes. And next, we'll be going in with a bit of the uh, grated mozzarella. And then we'll put on the fresh buffalo mozzarella as well. A bit of pepperoni. Some nice thin cut pepperoni, uh, not the usual one, I couldn't get the usual one to get at the shop, so I had to settle for this one. So I'm just popping that on, and then on to the pizza peel. A little bit of reshaping, I'm ready to go. So, before we do, check out our channel. We've got 60 second pizza recipes. If you're wanting something a bit longer, check out the pizza flour library. That's got all the long recipes in it. Right, into the oven. Oven temperature is 400 degrees. You don't want it any hotter, otherwise you risk burning the actual underneath the pizza. So this is real time. We haven't speeded this one up, so fans of the real time stuff are getting a New Year's treat here. So it'll start now to sizzle. And you can see that back edge starting to rise up quite significantly now. So warm up that turning peel. That just helps getting underneath it for the first time. So under we go and we're going to turn the full 180. Look at that. That looks absolutely fantastic. Mouth watering already doing this voiceover. You can just start to hear the pepperoni just sizzling away and the smell was absolutely fantastic you could really get that real authentic pizza smell could almost be in naples probably not not as good as those uh, guys in naples will make these uh, pizzas for a living but uh, as near as damn day as you're going to get trying to create it at home for the home cook 
So I'm just going to give that a few more turns now and it's just about ready. So that looks ready, let's go in with the pizza peel and get it out of the oven. Wow, look at that, absolutely stunning. So let's have a look underneath now. So that's what it looks like underneath. So please leave me a comment, let me know what you think. Time to open it up. So look at that structure of the crust. Absolutely stunning. Really, really fantastic. Um, so taste wise, um, it had a bit more of a chew than uh, Caputo. Um, but you know, they were very, very similar sort of flowers. So if you did like that, please subscribe to the channel. We've got loads more videos coming up and we've got loads of videos in the library. So that's a pizza. And for me, it's bye for now. Bye-bye.